into deep left center for Mitchell. And we'll see you tomorrow night. This is a cutoff man shot into the point. The journey to a championship is often described as a climb up a mountain. It is safe! Safe in the plate! The Braves go to the World Series! Braves hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. But what about after the championship? Ortiz in the deep right field. Back is Sheffield. We'll see you later. How do you describe that journey? I think they're going to win it in. The Brooklyn Plains will be late to America. We're going to play for the American League Championship. I don't believe it. In the case of Balls Deep, writing history would prove harder than Lelon to believe. In the southwest corner of Texas, about an hour's drive from downtown Houston, there sits a school that would give birth to one of the most decorated teams in beer league softball, Cypress Springs. Did play a lot of ball. I played a lot of T ball, everything else. So like teams with a couple people on this uh, on the team, but most of them I really started playing back in high school. Side Springs. Thinking back to the beginning when we first had this idea of what a team could be. And uh, the history of us, I've known Dolan since I was in kindergarten. I've known Kane since I was probably in third or fourth grade. I mean, we all played ball. Dave Ritchie was our coach, <laughs> Ritchie's dad. And he got kicked off because he was, he was yelling at us when we're 10, you know what I mean? You know, I would, when I think about balls deep, I think about, you know, how, how long we've all known each other and, and played with each other, you know. I've, I've known Kent for 17 years, and you know I've got people I just met this year. But I feel like we've all come together as a team, and and uh, you know playing pretty high. I didn't play high school because I got pneumonia and I didn't try out. We've been together since I don't know how long. I've known Dalton since I was in fourth or fifth grade. Whatever you want to say, Ryan, I've known a little bit longer. Shane Tabor, all those guys. I mean, we we played little league together. Yeah. We did all this stuff. And, and all right, our friendship, our team, Dalton High School. You know, the rest of the guys, Ryan Maskell, you know, GM. Uh, we go back from elementary to now. Uh, walk, bench, and Cox, you know. Uh, I knew who they were. Is they have the same kind of personalities that this, this fit in with us. So as soon as we started doing what we were doing, hanging out at Dalton's apartment in Midtown and you know clash and it was a it was a you know they just united so it's no big deal i mean they they fit with us if they didn't fit they wouldn't be with us you know before i got on the team mm -hmm. we didn't go undefeated but right join the team to know championship they also have that was your attitude though i mean your attitude your leadership you showed everything yeah. and washington take 90 percent of the credit you can't listen i think you know, we started in freshman year playing baseball together i met most of the slap dicks on this team. I uh, knew a few before then, but uh, you know, the bond just grew strong the next four years and got out of high school. Um, we decided to start a softball team and we didn't know what we were getting into when we started. Um, but what they were getting into would end up being one of the biggest dynasties in slow pitch softball. 
just a few years after their inaugural season and they already have their first championship under their belt. Definitely more hungry, getting our first championship. Uh, we, we wanted more. To really take it to a different level of Falls Deep softball and really win another championship. Um, I think we got more hungry now. I like the thing about that second trophy. After winning our first one, yeah, we were definitely hunting for that number two. And No, every game we play, uh, you know, we're out there to win. Yeah, you know, I mean, satisfied is a good word. We're still hungry, though. You know, we still wanted, we wanted more. I think we were more hungry. I think we want, we knew we were at this point, we were at that level, Kyle. 100%, you know, we go out there, yeah, we screw around. But 100%, we go out there and... We were ready to keep winning. There's some of us who have, you know, we've won a little bit, we lost a little bit, but we, we wanted it. It's been almost half a year since Balls Beep stepped onto a softball field. One week before the season opener, players are looking to catch up and unwind with teammates. You want to? Not really great. You need that. I play today. I play all the time in 24 here in Mason. Do you really? Yeah. You want to start balling out with me on weekends? Hey, lately. I mean, I'm not that good. I'm sorry, sir. With their first championship under their belt and the top seeded team to win this season, there was plenty of reason to celebrate. Hey, also, back. Hey, also, to my boy Ryan, bro. Uh, Ryan. Back to back. Hey, cheers to Dawson's missing jersey. Dawson's hey. jersey. Hey, Dawson's missing jersey. <laughs> hey, where are you? Hey, thanks to Brand's dad for real. Thanks to Brand's dad for hey. his jersey. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you, Brand's dad. Hey, we're going back to back. Hey. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. <laughs> you don't like that? Can I get out sing? I ain't no feeling. I'm already yeah. fucked up. All right. Thanks for gigging, and let's, let's win it on Sunday. Go gig, go gig. Balls there you deep. Go. Two and up. Two and up. Balls deeper. Two. <laughs> hey, get it for Darius. Show us the picture. <laughs> but playtime was coming to an end. So what you're saying is you're cutting your balls off. And in the morning, Sorry. your quest for the impossible would begin. at Nicolin Park. What are your expectations for this season and in, in Balls Deep? Well, I think we'll be all right. I think we have a good chance to, you know, go out and play some good uh, good softball. And uh, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do what it takes. It's just, you know, it's, we just got to come together as a team, buy into the same, buy into the same mindset, and we'll, we'll get it together and we'll, we'll get things done. Start of the season. It's Don Blonsky manager of the Ball Steep uh, team. Uh, let's go get him. Game one, new season, fresh start. So show them we're about. Thanks to Gigum. It's the first day of the season, and Ball's Deep is beginning to warm up. But their lack of practice during their break is beginning to show. Oh, you tired? Yeah, I was tired. Oh, bro, I had a lot of sleep. Yeah. I mean, I just, got, I just left Dallas. There, there you go, guys. Yeah. What's up, man? It was, uh, it was kind of up and down. Um, some guys, you know, worked on their game and others fucked up. <laughs> That, that six month gap, it, it is what it is. You, you can only make excuses for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we did. Yeah, break was nice, you know, let our bodies recover. You know, you had people with torn ACLs getting surgery. Um, somebody popped their knee on first base, I can't remember who it was. Um, you know, had a couple bangers, you know what I mean? Got, got my knee, you know, got my knee really feeling good. Come back for the next season and uh, I 
felt like it was good or bad. It, it could go both ways. I and with only 10 games and no playoffs to decide a champion, each one is of the utmost importance. It was it was time consuming. It was a little layoff, but at the same time, you know these guys need to step up and be men. But a lot, we had a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, we came off a good couple seasons, and you know we thought we were going to come off again with uh, you know an easy season. Let's play for with no championship. You know, exactly. I'm, I'm out there for the t-shirts. I'm out there for the trophies. Well, I mean, we've got to go out and pretty much be perfect in this league to get the championship. But uh, you know, it'd probably give us a better chance of winning. Championship if we had a playoff, but I don't think we need a playoff to win a championship. We're, we're a good team. It definitely puts more pressure on each game, you know, because if you have playoffs, you know, however they would seed it, top four or so make it. The league uh, definitely took a turn. Ralph's, you know, he, he he's kind of too strict. It's a beer league. It's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to drink beer. People want to go out and drink beer, and he doesn't let you. And so people are going to want to go do different leagues. I mean, it's something that, you know, Ralph knows he needs to light, you know, loosen up on the reins and let uh, let, a little, let, let it loose. It's softball. You're supposed to have fun. People don't want to go out there and just sit in the heat and play softball. They want to drink beer. Having 10 games, only 10 games, every game counts. And, and we all know that. We know every game counts. We know we can't give it up. Um, I really wish at least we would have a championship game, you know. It, I think he's in it for the money. I think Ralph's just too lazy to ask the – Houston to turn on the lights for a little bit longer you know we're old but hey we still love playing softball every day that league has changed so much there's just that team used that league used to have 40 teams in a league now we have five I mean like I, I don't care what you say championship game not you just can't compare it to the way I mean it was even a year and a half ago when we were playing with like 15 20 teams Nearly giving up an early lead in the first game, their lack of stamina appears to be a problem. We didn't play as a team. Uh, base running was horrible. We didn't, we didn't communicate out there. No communication. Uh, you know, Ryan needs to get his head out of his butt. The victory today, we played our hearts out, man, and uh, hopefully next week we can get two more. Played fantastic. Uh, as soon as Kyle came in, he changed the game. And uh, I look forward to next week. Their next three games, they barely squeak by, averaging only nine runs in each game. I, you know, I, I gave the guys, you know, a little, you know, post-workout between season workouts. Nobody fucking did a goddamn thing. They didn't fucking check it on fucking online to do their workouts and shit, you know, buds. But you know, it, it's my fault, I guess, for not fucking hiring fucking tutors for them. I don't fucking know, but. And in the last inning of the fifth game, Balls Deep was down by eight runs. Luck was not in their favor. But everyone knows where champions thrive is under pressure.
despite a shaky start. Only 10 games stood between balls deep and a historic three-peat championship run. Playing three instead of two games on the first day. And with an even shorter break than the season before. This quest for a third championship would not only test their physical and mental abilities, but their friendship as well. Hey, yeah, that's play a closer game. position. Hey. No yeah, left position. out. Hey, hold on, Rich. Oh, hey. Thank you. Watch the camera. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, you up also. Here, go to the fucking right there. Only winning one of the first two games, a few teammates seem to be verbally frustrated. Hey, uh, it being early part of summer, the heat may have gotten to us and and none of us were conditioned for the heat because all the beer drinking and and uh, people making bad decisions. So I would I would blame that one on the heat. Well, about Upton, uh, you know he he gets he hell of a ball player, but he gets too into it. Uh, you know, and he has a big mouth, has a big body. And uh, second and third game, uh, we just had a bunch of people with their heads up their asses just. Not thinking about the team and only thinking about themselves. Um, just didn't even call anybody out. Flopping around in the outfield like a damn fish. As many injuries as he's gotten chalked up on yeah. this on this game. Watch that ACL. Oh. I'm about to tear your other ACL. I just want to. I feel like you guys, had some bad apples on the team. I want to let you yeah, know. Number one. Yeah. I was texting him, texting the guys, asking you know what was going on. Why? Why did we? You know what happened? You know we did so good the first game, and then the second two we just, or the second, the second and third we just we choked. Um, you know, Epson called me a pussy from left center field. No one defended me for you know hacking and can't catch a damn ball. That's why you're not in the outfield because you can't catch a fucking fly ball. But. And if they wanted a third championship. They couldn't afford to lose game three. I don't want to talk about it, man. What did you guys think of uh, what just happened out there? I think they could have done better. They're pretty good. <laughs> I got it, got it. We got to We kind of played like shit, but uh, I think next games, next weekend we come back, we're going to be refreshed. We're going to be on the, we're gonna be on the beach this week, you know, thinking, a, thinking about these last two wins. Uh, I mean, losses. Oh, yeah, uh, delays and weeks and games that, you know, when we can't, we were ready to play, it got pushed back and, and that really hurt us. We definitely got lax moving up and, and then we had more competition out there and we thought we were the best. I said that we can hang with the upper league, we wanted to move up. I just think something got into everybody once they started hitting the ball and they thought they couldn't keep up with it. Definitely was tougher. You could definitely tell the competition was better. Uh, they could they could hit better. That was the most important thing. You know, down in the lower league, you got a lot of inexperienced people, people playing for the first time. You know, just <coughs> coming off the streets that that probably haven't even picked up a bat before in their life, and 
in the upper leagues, you've got you've got seasoned vets. You know, you've got guys that have been around block a few times. We we undermined ourselves. We we thought we were just we had to go in. Hey, man, we won a couple championships. We come in and won a third one like that. We moved up a league, and these guys, you know, the guys we played, they won the league before, and they knew they, they knew their expectation levels. I think we our our, our expectations level were too small, and and um, I think that um, what, what got us really str- we struggled to. To understand is that we we should have just you know we should have came out with a different fight you know the, the attitudes weren't there I just think that uh, we could do a little bit of a better job next time and, and the next time we start the season which uh, you know I just I just think that we were just overconfident overconfident well you know that was a real gut check for everybody uh, made us brought us down a couple notches uh, at least most of us there's still a couple people still up on on their cloud oh, nine. But, uh, but yeah, it was it was a wake up call, wake up call for sure. What the fuck he's been doing all weekend? Exactly. But he's not getting ready for softball. Got ready for softball. Got ready for softball. Got ready for softball. That's, That's why we left your ass. Do you blame yourself for those first two losses that season? You know, I I, I say about five percent. I mean, I pitched a hell of a game. One hell of a game, Kyle. Um, but they, <laughs> I just don't understand. I can't go catch a fucking fly ball out in left center field. I can't. I just got to throw it. I can't run that fast. I'm pretty fast, but I can't run that fast. But I'd say about 95% on the guys. You know, there's eight, there's eight guys behind me. And, you know, whoever's catching that day, I'll give him about 10%. You know, just because he's just, just cause it's not me. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember that season. The only seasons I come to remember is the one we played next uh, next time. Uh, I don't I don't I don't uh, dwell on the past. You know, if you let that if you let that carry over to the next se- the next weekend or next season. You're never.